Hey everybody, this is Chuck Malone with Strong Towns. I'm in Celebration, Florida, a new urbanist community just outside of Orlando. And I'm walking through one of my favorite parks. I just want to show you this because it is deeply reverential. It's a beautiful kind of, uh, veterans uh, memorial park. Um, it's actually called Founders Park, but it's done in such a tasteful way. Um, and I want to point out at minimal, minimal cost, just with really fantastic design. So at the entrance to this park here, um, if you see behind me, there's a little square, little circle there, Founders Circle it says, but along here it's got all these bricks. The bricks are, uh, have the names of the original inhabitants of the town. So there's kind of like a, a local connection here too. As you walk up, you're walking down this kind of symmetrical little way. You see the benches on each side. This kind of splits the park right in two. And there's a lot of like really deep symmetry as we head down here to the actual memorial itself. When you enter this space, I want to point out before we do this, that these are just, I mean, they're like, are they concrete? Yeah, the concrete pillars just painted. There's nothing really expensive or fancy about this. I see cities all over the place that put in these big granite things and they just, I get it, it's beautiful, but this is like deeply reverential. You've got this little gateway here, you walk in, um, you have your memorial here in the center, the flag's flying at half mass because uh, former President Jimmy Carter passed away. Uh, it will be like that for a while now. Um, but this little park here, it's just a little quiet spot. You've got this reverential gateway here, good strong symmetry emphasizing this place. You come through this gateway, you have now the memorial here for each different branch of service has their own little thing. Again, very cheap, affordable, it's not really expensive. I don't mean cheap as in uh, they just slapped it together. Uh, I mean affordable as in any city could build something like this. Um, you have the American flag, you have the, the little things honoring each branch. And I want you to look, the symmetry of this place, again, all focuses on what? On the flag being kind of the apex of it, uh, on you know these, these little shrubs along here, uh, the, uh, the walkway, all of this kind of centers you, focuses on the flag and on these individual monuments. Now, I'm gonna come out here and I want you to see this park on the other side of this. So when you walk out here, it's this, it's this huge area. This is entire block um, park. It has this semi-circle sidewalk that goes around, benches along it, but this is all open. And again, think of the focal point as being where I'm standing right here or where the flag is right in front of me. It's like a, almost like an amphitheater to this spot to the flag, to the monuments for each branches of service. Celebration, Veterans Memorial at Founders Park. That's what this is. And it's subtly reverential, right? The reason I wanna point this out is because this is what you can accomplish through great design. What you have here is not, we're going to honor our veterans by, you know, throwing lots and lots of money at a plaque that we're going to put somewhere randomly. This is where we said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take ground in our community. We are going to design it brilliantly to emphasize our reverence for our veterans, our nation, people who have sacrificed. I find this, on one hand, this is probably the lowest cost memorial I've ever seen. For a small town like this, you know, this isn't Washington, D.C. This is a small town in Florida. For a small town like this, this is probably the most deeply reverential memorial site I've ever seen. And it is that way simply because of the design they used. The way that they use the space, the deep, deep symmetry that focuses everything on the one spot, the way it's segmented into quieter spaces and more active spaces. Um, this is just a genius design. When we are designing parks, huh, I'm going to say this, and this is, going to, this is going to reflect a little bit of like my personal experience in my city, but I think it probably will be in a lot of yours too. When we ask the guy who mows the grass to also design the park, we kind of get a park designed by the guy who mows the grass. He might be a sweet man. He might, we might like him. He might be great. 
is not a park designer. When we're building parks, when we want parks to do things like be reverential to our veterans or build wealth and value in the community, which by the way, not very expensive park, lots of wealth around it because you live across from this awesome park, you actually need to hire a designer who does those kind of things. You can't just go out and buy committee and throw up a tennis court here and throw up a jungle gym over here and uh, you know have this kind of potpourri thing going on. Um, we can do parks so much better. And here in Celebration, they do parks mm, just geniusly.